Hello guys, my name is Aaron and welcome to my channel. This is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now, in the last tutorial we saw the basics of plotting commands, okay, and how to make a very very simple one dimensional plotting. Okay. Now, what shall we do is that we'll go with a little more little more uh, fancier fancier types of plots using one di one dimensional plotting. Okay. Now, you may have a situation wherein you have to plot to you have to make two plots on the same figure. Okay. Now, uh, they, that comes in two kinds of categories. The first category is that the plots will have the same x-axis but different y-axis. Okay. Uh, one way to do this in Python is by uh, is by making use of the axis properties. Okay. Now, how shall we do it? It's simple. What you do is that there is a there is a feature called as subplots. There is a feature called as subplots in Python, which can be used to make multiple plots in one shot. Okay. Multiple plots in one shot. Okay. Now that's what we're going to use. The idea here is that what you do is that uh, create a create a blank empty sum create a blank subplot, okay, and from which uh, sep extract out the figure a figure uh, extract out the figure and the axis handles, okay. So if you if you write the line fig comma ax1 equals plt dot subplots with nothing in the with nothing in the brackets what we'll do is that this subplot this subplot function will have a figure we will have a figure come will have a figure handle and the axis handle the figure handle will go to this value called as uh, to the uh, value fig to the object fig and the axis handle will go to this value ax1 okay now with this being done okay uh, this option on the second line is what is important to us for this option for this what it does is that okay uh, this axis handle okay has a lot of uh, axis handle is an object and it has a lot of methods on it and uh, this uh, method called as twin x is what is responsible what is required what it does is that it just makes the makes a twin of x axis now what it means is that uh, what it means is that it kind of takes a reflection of y axis with respect to x axis so if you use twin x, what you'll get is that you'll get an another y-axis that occurs on the right hand side or right hand side by default. Okay. Okay. And now that uh, and now, and now what happens is that, now what happens is in this line is that ax2 will become an axis handle which will have the same x-axis as that of axis one, but will have a, a new but will have a new and independent y-axis. Okay independent y axis fine now let's go to the second uh, let's go to the next line now how do we plot it it's simple now since now so using uh, axis 1 which is again a plot uh, plot handle over here okay plot, subplot handle over here on that we can use uh, axis 1 to plot to plot your uh, altitude and pressure to uh, to plot alt altitude and pressure like this okay and using axis 2 we can plot altitude and another another variable separately like this okay now let's let me just walk you guys through with that through with that what i do is that create fake comma x1 equals plt dot subplot enter now what I do is that when I do this, okay, I'm getting a blank plot like this, okay. You may get a type error like this, but don't worry. And as of now, it doesn't matter. Just keep it as it is. Now what we do is that uh, let's create a new handle, access handle called as ax2, which should be, which is ax1 dot uh, twin x, twin x. Uh, did I do it? Did it happen nicely? Nope. Okay, I guess this. I guess. Uh, okay, let me see if this works. If this doesn't work, I have to copy the entire thing and write it again. Plot z comma p comma. 
okay okay uh, i guess it's not plotting up i guess i just have to copy this as a, a continuous function continuous data continuous value and then put it again okay i have to do this in one shot okay let me copy all this let me paste this let me paste this okay ah perfect okay sometimes when you're doing this kind of an option uh, you may not get uh, get all of them done separate get them separately so just copy them together and do it now fake now as i told before this line will create will separate the figure and axis and uh, you can you can create a new ax new y axis and a pair of x axis x axis and y axis using twin x twin x does what twin x does it creates a the create it ha passes the same x axis to ax2 but creates a new y axis and it gives it to x2 and then axis ax1 dot plot gets <laughs> ax1 dot plot sets uh, plots uh, pressure uh, altitude and pressure for with uh, respect to axis one and ax2 dot plot plots the altitude and saturation variable which are the other variable in y axis. Now R stands for red color, so this this line is actually your pressure plot, whereas B is actually stands for blue color. This is uh, this is your saturation variable pressure plot. Okay. Now similarly, similarly, similarly. Okay, what you can do is that you can plot the uh, you can you can have plots which have the same y-axis but different x-axis. Now, now uh, this is easy, but how do we do is that it just replicate the same, but the it's exactly the diff, uh, other um, component of it. You just have to uh, replicate the uh, make a twin of y-axis here. That is, keep the x y-axis common to both the plots, but keep the x-axis I mean keep the uh, y sorry keep the x-axis common to both the plots okay sorry y-axis common to both plots but replicate the x-axis okay that's how we do uh, but everything else is exactly the same as we did earlier but just a little correction okay now copy all this okay paste it now this is straightforward if i press enter again there you have it. You have one, se two separate x-axis from top and bottom, top and bottom, okay. And then you have your plots, and then you have your common y-axis, and you're plotting it, okay. Red stands for the pressure plot, whereas B stands for B is actually is, is the color for your saturation vapor pressure plot, and that's it. Now, whenever you get a plot like this, you will get an output a figure output value like this just indicating that these are you having some plot or plotting objects available show that there is some objects that are being displayed on the top okay that's it now that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial in the next tutorial we will be looking at uh, superimposition of plots and how to make some corrections on that okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next tutorial